I took down the beer cans and didn't like the brown wall. So I painted it green. I sprayed it green. The bottom I didn't like. So then I added the white with a spray gun. And I liked the end finish that I got with the green. So this made me look at my lounge room, which is one hell of a brown, big brown brick wall. Am I game? These are tests. So I chose grey in the end. And at the top you can see there's solid and two or three different coloured greys there. I chose the top design to go on my brick wall. So this is the brick wall that started it all. I painted it green. Oh, I spray painted it green all over and I didn't like the look of it at all. So then I went in with the spray gun and did the um, mortar white. Uh, I did it two coats of white and then I went back over and I rolled the green back over. And I really liked the look of the wall. I thought it looked really good. And um, so that started me then, the, the big brick wall in the lounge room, which is, I'll show some pictures up in, in with this video um, of the big brick wall. I did the same here. So I did two coats of white in the paint with a spray gun and then I went over with a roller and did two coats with the top coat grey that I chose, the colour of the grey. I went round through the archways to my front door and then in through the kitchen was the same wall brown brick this is the one that mainly all the video is done on um i thought i'd do, do a video after i'd this was those broken bricks that i touched up with a paintbrush and you can see the line of the bricks going down I like how the features up over the archways and that really little triangles also really stand and show off. So that is the whole brick wall. So this one that's in the video of me painting, this, um, this white, I started at um, 5.30 at night and I spray painted till about 9.30, 10 o'clock with having a break in the middle for it to dry in between coats. Then the next morning I got up and I did the a coat of grey with the roller on the stick, let that dry and then I came back in later that afternoon and I did it rolling again with just the roller in my hand, not on a stick to get the better coverage. So I hope if you enjoy the video, um, you take the plunge into doing your brick wall if you like to. I liked my brick as it was, but I just felt that it would lift the house to a nicer, a brighter look for me. And, um, but if you do your brick wall and you hate it, I'm not a painter. It's your potluck if it comes out or it doesn't come out. I used Lo Sheen um, indoor house paint because that's what I had. I wasn't going to go out and spend a lot of money if it didn't work. So um, the it was just the house paint that I bought a wrong colour uh, white for the walls. So I had... A big tin so I was prepared to take the risk of if it was going to work or not work and I picked up the grey I picked up a big tin of um, paint in the reject area of um, the hardware store 
and it was only $70 compared to $250. So I just paid uh, money for a bit more tint to make the grey a bit, and I mixed it to my own liking. And I'll show a couple of pictures of solid, with me making the decision of whether I was going to do the white or whether I was going to do solid colour or whether I was going to do these crazy red brick colours that look absolutely not my thing at all. But anyway, I hope you enjoyed my video. Thank you. So I first taped off um, the ceiling, the floor, and covered up any appliances that I didn't want to get paint on. A few of you have asked how I did my brick wall grey with the white mortar. This is how I did I've got myself a spray gun, a respirator, I have um, low sheen white paint and my top brick colour is grey but you could do any colour scheme you wanted. It's really up to you. So make sure your gun's working well, not too thick of paint and I've got a step ladder and a little chair for when I get down low and hold your gun really close to the mortar. You want to get it in as much as you can and a brush at the other end of the room. But anyway, so get yourself set up and this is what I do. that the full length of the wall and let it dry and then I come back and do it again the full length of the wall so first coats done I'll be back and show you after the second coats done so I'm going to try to show you how here and these greyish bits this is what you want to cover up with your second coat. So you want to really, I think I had my water, a, a paint a bit thick. the paint this time you can really see and how it completely covers the top of the brick and that's what you want to get so you get a real crisp line 
with your paint job. So if they're a bit grey, so see how these ones here, oh, no, there's a light, are a bit grey, you really want them to be white like down here. Lovely and white, not this greyish in the lines there. You want to cover that up so that it's wet and really sparkling white like that. And that'll give you a good look. So set, second coat's finished. Just go over, have a look at your bricks. If you see any grey spots, just zap it with your spray gun. Dab it with the brush and try and get all your bricks nice and covered. See how they're covered at the top? Don't worry about this bit here. That's going to um, be grey. You want to concentrate on this area here. So just have a look at your bricks. Go along. Um, it's all looking pretty good. If you stand back a bit, you might notice a dull spot pop out at you. And as I say, just zap it with the paint gun, give it a dab, make it a nice crisp line. I think I'm pretty good. Well, I suppose I could probably here. Where's my finger? There. See that? That's sort of a bit daggy. So I'll zap that with my paint gun, probably getting close to the heater here. I've missed that bit there, and I probably could go in down in here too, a bit more um, there as well with my paint gun. But these lines are nice and crisp, got paint on the top of them. So that means when the grey comes up, the grey will be grey-white, not, not the mortar showing. You want it to be white. Oh, pretty good. Okay. I'll come back and show you tomorrow when I roll the grey on if you want to have a look at that. So it's next morning. All looks pretty good. Pretty happy with all the mortar joints. I pulled up the table on the floor last night and cleaned up any spills that got underneath the tape on my tiles because they're not being replaced. I put a strip down this side here because I don't want grey on that. And I've still got the one at the top for the white because it'll be okay for the grey. Now some of your bricks will be like here. They're really damaged and the character of the brick. So with those ones, I get, that paintbrush is always on the other side of the room when I talk to you. Um, so I just get that one and I'll use a paintbrush on these ones. Okay, so it's just basically define your square of your brick because the roller won't get into these really deep crevices there. So you have to do those odd ones that are a bit of a pain, unless you like that look that you're gonna go for. If you want the white like that, go for that. So all right, along the top and the bottom, I use a little roller. So it's the same with down the bottom. I don't get too much paint, I sort of, use those, the end here of this um, tray and not sort of have too much paint on the um, same thing. Just roll along your edge. It's good to go in the middle of the two mortars so that you're rollers rolling on two bricks at once but I just go up and down pretty firmly like that on the bottom one just to get a nice line along your bottom 
So it's just, just pulling up a little bit of the paint onto the top of your tray. And then pushing down, going sideways, just getting it. And sometimes these little endy bits here, if you just want to wiggle it in, you can. Just be careful you don't go in too far. Just go in as far as you like. And I tend to um, not put too much paint on, just use the, and it's just, I go along like that, right against the top. And you'll notice that the roller doesn't really go into the mortar area. I'm very careful when I go this up and down way because you can get it pushed into the mortar a bit too far, especially on the top one. It's a bit fiddly, the top and the very bottom. But I like to do them because it's an easier, an easier roll. And it is only the first coat. So basically along there. And then the same along the bottom. So pushing hard against the roof line with the top of the end of the roller to help get that grey right up to the paper that you've got there that's masking tape. And if you want to come one down, just come one down and give it a bit of a roll too. This brick here is quite textured, but it's getting in there pretty well. So, you know, it's not, you don't need, we need a paintbrush for that one. Okay, that looks all pretty good. The same, I use a, um, uh, roller on the edges I find if you use if you find if you use a paintbrush you, you will get in the paintbrush will slip into the mortar a bit and you'll end up with the white. I'm just pressing firmly against the tape there to try to get a nice crisp line on that end brick. I'm pushing quite heavy right into the end here. It just seems to really go quite well. And we'll go all the way up and across the top.
So the workmen are in the background today, so I didn't take. So I take the roller and I do a gentle roll on the first roll down. Then I go back up and I spread that paint out. A bit like just like you're painting a wall, really. There's not much difference. It's a not a, I don't do a pressure um, roll. It's really quite a gentle roll, but a, quite a bit of paint. Dip it in the paint again and then go back up and roll down pretty lightly with that first roll and then on the second, third roll back up and that you can be a bit firmer and spread it around. And you'll notice that it just stays on the top of the brick and doesn't go into the mortar. So you do that all the way along the wall. You don't have to be super coverage on the first coating of the paint. On the second coating, you'll be more diligent and get the bricks to a more perfect look that you want. So first coat is done and waiting to dry and then I will go around and touch up some of these wonky bricks a bit more with a brush. See how that one there is really hard. So you just go do those little ones by brush and work out how much grey you want on them. I'll let it dry for a bit and I'll come back and show you how I do the last coat. my second coat I use the roller without the stick and that way I can add a bit more pressure to any spots and I can go in a few different directions as well so what I like to do is to sort of go a bit of pressure get any um, little white spots that are sticking out this is that brick I painted with the brush And then I like to, to get the square nice on the bricks, I like to even go this way, sideways as well. So, and that means that you get a nice square around your bricks. And it's up to you how crisp and the lines you want them to be. I mean, if you want to, you want to leave it rustic looking you leave it rustic looking but i i've tried to make my bricks a nice square so that you've got white and then you've got gray you haven't got the mortar that was left there from the beginning and i do that all the way along for the second coat i'll go in with a brush and touch up any of these tricky shaped areas with a brush. Um, and if I accidentally get grey in the mortar anywhere, 
I just come back in later with a finger or a little paintbrush and do it white wherever I've um, done too much. Just thought I'd try to show you another close-up of rolling and see how you might be able to see that they're a bit jagged and how I'm going to go over with the roller that these lines along the top where the grey meets the white become a lot crisper, a lot clean, a lot more. And even like these end bits here, you might notice that they're, it just seems to go in and a fraction, like maybe an eighth of an inch or something and help. Now this brick here is really wonky and crooked so either I work out whether I'm going to get my paintbrush into that one or whether I can just be prepared to give it a little bit of a tender roll where well, these ones are really broken bricks. But as you can see here it's a little bit whitish, so I just nestle it in on both sides. And if the brush won't, if the roller won't, doesn't do it good enough for me, I go back in with a brush on that one spot where um, where that little bit's annoying me. I've got some grey there on the white so I'm going to have to go back in there with a white paint when I buy some because I ran out and um, just touch it up if I can ever find it again. You see a spot and you go, oh god, I've got to touch it up and then you go to find it with your white paint and you can't find it. So as you can see, they're really little squares all the way around. And if you don't like any of the little white bits that are still there, you just, like this corner here looks very hard because it's crooked. Well, I'd have to go in there with a little paintbrush maybe because I don't think the roller is going to get into that bit to make it as nice and square as what I'd like it. See I'd like that to come along a little bit more up here and down so I'm going to have to get a paintbrush to do that because I want that to be a little bit. Just see how that just made that edge just a little bit nicer here, a little bit nicer. You can be as fiddly as you want to be. Didn't doesn't take too long. Anyway, I'll give you a video when I'm finished. So, all finished. Really pleased with the result. To give you a close up of the roof line. Coming down to the floor line. the side bricks to the wall. Still have to paint my kitchen white. But I am really pleased that I took the plunge in doing this in my home. I, um, I really hope you've enjoyed the video. I am not a painter and I'm not um, a professional person in any way even making videos I'm not professional so um, forgive anything that's a little bit askew if it's against you whatever you do and um, I hope that someone may learn something from this video have a nice day